Well, hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome back, it's been a while. Um, I hope everyone is doing well, but um, I figured, uh, actually, so about a month ago, I posted a picture um, of a perfume on my channel, on my channel, on my Instagram. And I mentioned that I was going to spend my time with that perfume for a whole week. My intention was to like do a review after that or like write a blog or something, but things didn't happen the way it should have. And, um, and here we are, we're going to talk about that fragrance today. And the fragrance is Iris Mabet. Um, now Iris, um, is the house by Barbara Herman. If you don't know Barbara Herman, she wrote the book Sentence of Version, which is this one right here. And um, I learned about this book, I think it was like early fall last year. Um, a Someone on Instagram mentioned it to me. I don't remember who, uh, but I remember I'll put, put it on the screen somewhere. But mentioned it to me and I, um, I really love this book because it makes you aware of like, you, you just, you learn more about like um, a lot of old perfumes that you, that are, um, either are not in the making anymore or have been reformulated in certain ways and are not really quite trending, you know, as much as they deserve to these days. But um, I enjoyed this book a lot. And when I read the book, I had no idea that she made perfume. I, I didn't really, <laughs> I knew, I knew nothing about the house at all. And then um, fast forward to um, like later on in the year, I, someone mentioned, the house on Instagram and I was like, oh, I didn't know Barbara made perfumes. So I ordered a sample set and um, I liked every single one that I tried with two standouts and I'm going to talk about one of them today. Uh, so the perfumer that she used to make all her perfumes is um, Antoine Lee, whose work I really appreciate. Um, I tend to like a lot of his stuff. He like, he, like he's one of the ones that um, like one of the mass perfumes that kind of like push the limits when it comes to like certain things and such. So um, we are going to be talking about My Bet by Iris Perfumes. And um, so if you want to know what I think about this perfume, just uh, stay tuned. So um, Iris My Bet to me is more of a leather sheep fragrance. And um, I'll put the notes on the screen somewhere or just, uh, I don't know. I'll put the notes on the screen somewhere, but it's a leather sheep fragrance. And um, one of the first ingredients in top notes are aldehydes. Now, when I think about aldehydes, and I think a lot of people feel this uh, feel this way about aldehydes, is that uh, there's not one type of aldehyde. And you know, we're all used to like the Chanel Number no. Five, which I have been for the longest time. The like uh, sparkly, soapy scent. Um, in this case, it smells more aromatic to me. Um, and I feel like it, it might be a combination of that that made me more intrigued about it um, and curious about that note in particular. But that's not the main fact about this perfume. There's like way more. <laughs> There's way more than the aldehydes in here. But but the aldehydes in here is not overdone. It's 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 kind of like um it's just kind of like splashed in there. Um, again, also it's uh, it leans more on the aromatic side, and I feel like uh, it's it kind of. Uh, makes you more curious about what else is to come because you can smell like every single thing going on uh, in the mid notes and in the bass notes like kind of coming through. Um, it's very, very like, what do you call it? Slow burn, if you want to say slow burn, that's what I call it. When the leather, like initially I didn't get leather until like I wore it that week and I made some notes here I actually have it in front of me. But the leather starts off like, and I don't want to say sweet because you might get the wrong impression. It's not rugged. It's not a, a, like a sharp, like a heavy leather. It's, um, it's very, um, um, easy going and, um, it's a, a little resinous and also powdery in a way, which is another thing that I didn't get uh, when I first smelled this perfume. There's also, there's also ja uh, Jasmine Sandbag in here, but it's not something that I smell a lot of. I don't really smell a lot of Jasmine in here. And in a way I feel like, uh, like I literally, um, it, it might be what's contributing to that powdery feel that's m meshing with the leather accord in here. But really, if, if that's the case, it's just really blended well. And I really, really enjoyed that part of it. 
But again, uh, the powdery uh, smell I get is not very prominent. I mean, only I only, can only smell it also when I like put my hands close to my nose. But other than that, when I smell it in the air, I don't really smell the powder. So, so all of this, the whole like the leather, the, the resinous kind of almost sweet leather accord and the powdery feel continues. Um, and the base is very um, animalic to me. Um, it's it's earthy, it's animalic, and it's and it gets a little dirtier too. So just watch out for that because that's the best part. So Sam from My Water Fragrance did a uh, video. Um, what was it titled? Perfumes for the grown ass lady or something like that, or the grown ass woman. Perfumes for the grown ass woman, and I feel like uh, this perfume. If I had to make a list of something like that. This would be one of them for sure. Um, but that is all I have to say about this perfume. Like I said, I really enjoy it. It's not one that I'm going to wear more. Like it gets really hot in in, in the summer here in Texas. So uh, wearing a perfume like this is not like the best idea. Um, but it's something that I would probably reach out for at night because we we have air conditioner on and it's like cooler at night. A little cooler, not like very cool. It's cooler at night, but definitely a heavy. Um, fragrance. It's a, it's leathery. It's a sheep accord. Um, and another fun fact is that the the animatic notes in here is synthetic. I'm not sure what compositions, what made up that composition, but it is listed as a synthetic animatic um, animatic notes, which I think is very interesting. Um, with the way this smells, like it smells like the real deal. So uh, let me know if you tried anything from Aries Perfumes. Um, if you tried this. Um, my bet in particular. I want to know what you think about it and um, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.